And now, the number one fastest player of all time, Daryl Green. Daryl Green. Should have known. Daryl Green, um, yeah, I couldn't argue that. Oh, come on. I mean, how many gold medals does Daryl Green have? Bullet Bob should be number one fastest man, not Daryl Green. Two things were true of Daryl Green throughout his entire career. One, he was always the fastest guy in the league. And two, it felt like he was always the oldest guy in the league. Daryl Green is number one on our list because he was so fast for so long. Snap to Brown from the 39. Quick slant into the hands of Daryl Green. He's gone. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. I just don't get this guy. I mean, I, I was with him my rookie year. He was like 48 years old or something crazy. And he was still unbelievably fast. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Daryl Green right now would probably be like the eighth fastest corner in the NFL. The secret to his flea feet may have been in his sweet tooth. The little guy just blistered that sideline. Too too old, buddy. Make you run fast. I don't. I don't agree with that statement. Sorry. I got a two Tootsie Roll the other day. He would play with the Tootsie Roll in his sock. Who does that? Got a double Tootsie Roll. And the big ones. The Jumbos. It's a Jumbo day, baby. How do you ask a grown man in the locker room for a Tootsie Roll? Oh, I think I found one. <laughs> Let me show you what a lot of Tootsie Rolls is. Zoom in on that. You see that? The one play that made everybody go, wow, who is this guy, was in a Monday night game against the Cowboys. Tony Dorsett takes the handoff, hits the line, gets through that second level of the defense. Dorsett and look out. Uh oh, this could be my boss. Daryl Green comes from out of the picture, runs into your picture, past two Redskins that are chasing Dorsett. He runs right past them and catches him from behind. And look who's caught him. Dorsett gets up and looks like, what? Wait, wait, what What just happened? <laughs> it's only one man in the field could catch him, Daryl Green, the world-class center for Texas a and I. I had a run when I broke. I knew he was coming. Good night. Somebody's going to have to really run. I said, I know he's back there somewhere, and he called me. catch me you catch me i'm never i'm never running looking over my shoulder looking back that's not me his signature play is the return against the bears chases green back to his own 48 yard line but he's got some room there on green good go could be all over it is all over he might have pulled a hamstring on his way into the end zone when he went across there he looked like he was hurt he looks like he's holding his side He's holding his side with his left hand. That's some speed right there. Because he's probably running at 60% at that point, and still nobody could catch him. Daryl Green did finish number one, but that doesn't mean the race wasn't close. Number one's got to be. Daryl Green has to be number one. He told you he was the fastest guy on the field, and he shoved it down your throat. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Boy, you didn't move me. I was the fastest kid in my neighborhood. I was the fastest kid in my elementary school. I was the fastest kid in my college, the fastest kid in my conference. Daryl Green was fast, and he played fast. But if Bob Hayes raced Daryl Green, there's not a chance in hell that Daryl Green is beating Bob Hayes. None. He did win, like, NFL's fastest man every year for a few straight years, didn't he? Daryl Green is the fastest guy in the NFL, and he proved it there. Daryl Green was pretty impressive, and perhaps he is somebody who could have gone out and won a gold medal. But you know what? He didn't. I guess the only way we would ever know who really was the fastest player in NFL history was if Daryl Green ever got to cover Bullet Bob Hayes when both of them were in the prime. That was a great race. That was like watching a 100-yard dash in the Olympics or something. That would have settled the argument, and that would have been a sight to behold.